All right, what I'm going to show you here is how to set it up so that when you publish a video on your YouTube channel, it will automatically generate a new blog post for your WordPress blog. You can set it up to where it will do any new video or specific playlists. First thing you need to do is go into your WordPress and you want to go to your plugins and you want to go add new. Search for a plugin called Auto YouTube Importer. I have no affiliation with them, but uh, it's what I use on a different blog, WordPress blog, and so far I have not had any problems with it. Hit install. Once it's installed, activate it. Once it's activated, if you go over to Tools, you'll see you now have this option here, YouTube Importer. We need to create an API key with Google that allow us to do this. So there are a few steps to this. You can click on the link and follow the instructions. They're, they're not too bad. Uh, it'll walk you through that. And it's got some nice screenshots on it. Or if you want, just keep following this video. So I've gone to developers.google.com. I'm gonna switch my profile to the correct profile. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna go products and I want cloud. Once you're in your cloud.google.com, you have this option here on the upper right, console. Click that. Okay, on the upper left, you've got this drop down here. Click on that. It'll give you options of creating a new project. If you haven't done this before, I've done this, but I'll do a new one now. Hit new project and name it whatever you want. Once you've hit create, it's going to create a project. So you need to give it a minute. Select it. Once you're in here, you want to find YouTube V3 data API. So if you just do a search, it'll come up, select it. All right. Once you're here, you'll have this option to enable your API key. Select it. On the upper right here, you've got this option, create credentials. Select the API. We're going to leave that the same. Now, depending on what you need to access, you'll have options of user data or public data for the purposes of this one, public data. Hit next. Now you're going to have an API key here showing. Mine's blurred because you should not share an API key with anyone, as it says here. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to hit done, and that will get me out of that screen. I'm going to go back to WordPress. I'm going to paste that API into the field, hit Save Settings, and you should see a success API key is valid. All right. Now go to YouTube Importer, and you're going to need to get your channel information. You can either, like I said, import everything that's on your channel or a specific playlist. So for channel, when you go to YouTube, it's just right up here in the address bar. It's going to have YouTube channel and then this, that's going to be your channel. For a playlist, like in my case, select the playlist and it's going to be that PL whatever. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to jump back, go playlist. I'm going to paste the playlist in there. Now, what kind of posts do I want? It only gives you post with the free version you have additional options for an, a paid upgrade version. You can set it to automatically publish or put it to save as draft if say maybe you wanna go into it and mess with it. You can set who automatically is the author on that. So we'll just go admin on mine. You can go category. So this is Photoshop tutorials. So in my case, I'm gonna select my tutorials category. You can select multiple if you want. Now I want it to import every time something comes in from that playlist. So I'm going to go check that. And I want it to include the thumbnail. Check that. Date limit. So in my case, these go back pretty far. I don't want all of my old ones because some of these have been updated. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to set this to only import stuff from right here. Kind of, let's say right, yeah, there, maybe a couple months ago. 
So for my date limit, I'm going to put it to, let's go August 1st. So what it's going to do is it's only going to import videos that have been posted since October 1st. You can truncate your post content, which basically is if you don't want the description imported, you can set that to zero or you can put, um, you know, a trim option. I'm, I want my whole description of the video imported and I want the whole title imported. So I'm going to import. Success imported two out of 42 posts. And the reason being is because I've only posted two since then. Now, if I go to my blog, I've got my introduction to generative fill and my batch of pen file name. Click on it. And so you can see that it doesn't give you a whole lot. It just gives the video in the description, but Hey, you know, it gets you started. And I guess that's maybe an advantage to having it saved to a draft level. So when it goes in there, it gives you a good starting point. So there you go, quite a few steps to it, but if you follow them closely, you should be fine in setting this up. Uh, the, I think the most challenging part really is to make sure you're setting up your API key and the catch is there's a lot of options and drop downs and buttons in the Google Cloud Console. So hopefully you get the right ones there or follow those step-by-step -step instructions available on the link.